Today I am here with little Mika Alexis. As promised, I wanted to come back next and do a video with this baby girl because I have not done like a video with her by herself in a while. So I really wanted to do a video with her next. And if you are new to my nursery, please subscribe thanks for stopping in make sure you click the subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notifications whenever i do new videos and if you are already subscribed thank you and welcome back to the nursery so mika is having a little bit of her formula in her bottle because she was a little bit hungry, a little fussy, but now she's falling asleep after all of the noise she was making a little while ago. You guys wouldn't believe it. Now she is so calm and falling asleep, not even really drinking her milk. But anyway, so Mika is the Alex Sculpt by Clear Taylor Dolls. Um, she is a, from a kit edition and she is a partial silicone baby. So if you look at her and you look at her little belly, she looks like she's a full body silicone, but she's not. And I really love the fact every time, <laughs> I, this is actually my second time recording this video, guys. And each time my son tries to open this door to the nursery <laughs> and he knows I'm doing a video. I tell my kids before I start recording in here that I'm doing a video. Even if I record in my bedroom, I tell them first, but you would never think I've told them. They forget every time. So I have the door lock. He's like trying to walk through the door um because my nursery is in between my kitchen over here and the laundry room is in this side so i guess i don't know what he wants out of there but he'll have to wait a minute because the door is locked so anyway yeah i forgot what i was saying now <laughs> I think I was talking about her belly plate and I was saying that I like the belly plate on this baby or most of the babies I like when they come with a belly plate because it makes, to me, it makes them look more realistic, even vinyl reborns when they have the little belly plate. Um, but what I really like with this belly plate is that it's soft silicone. It's it You don't really notice it's on her. So I just leave it on her. I don't really take her belly plate off. So yeah, that's what I like with her little belly plate. So she is silicone, if you're not um, familiar or you're not sure what I mean by partial. Her head is silicone, full solid silicone. Her arms and her legs are full silicone. And then her little belly plate. But her body underneath her belly plate is a cloth body weighted, um, just like the Vinyl Reborn dolls. So that's what I mean by partial silicone. So since she's not really drinking and she needs to get changed, we will just burp her and then we're going to take her to the changing table and change her into an outfit. And I have not put her in an outfit in so long. She has been in the same sleeper. Like, I can't believe how long I left her in that sleeper because usually I won't leave my babies in their clothes that long. Like, 
I don't even know when I put that sleeper on her. I was trying to remember, but it's been a while. She was cute in it, though. I like her in it. I like how it feels on the silicone, those bamboo sleepers. So she was fine. And the air conditioner is on, so it's not like she was burning up hot in the sleeper. Um, and then those bamboo sleepers are a nice, like the material is thin, so it wasn't bad that she had it on all this time. But she needs to get something else on, right, Mika? Say, I need to get change. I'm tired of being in that sleeper, mommy. So anyway, this is her. And this is her little belly plate. And it's adorable. Right, little Mika? And I just love, I, I always say that I love her face. I think that this sculpt has just such a pretty face. And the cutest little lips they have. And I love how their mouth is like slightly open where you can see their little tongue. And then she has like the little top gums up there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they have like the little top gums and it looks so real that it makes their like their face the way they little mouth and everything they to me they just look so realistic so also mika is the first silicone baby that i painted for myself from start to finish i purchased her as a blank kit as i said these dolls are being sold um, by Clea Taylor Dolls as blank kits. And there's the open eyed baby as well, which is the Ashby um, kit. And it's also a partial silicone. They share the same body style, exactly identical body, except the Ashby has the open eyes and the Alex has the closed eyes. So if you're interested, I believe she's still selling these kits, but you can check on her website and see. Um, it's cleataylordolls.com and you can just see and also she has a YouTube channel Clea Taylor Dolls and you can see the video of these particular kits when she released them I think they have like two videos up with these kits on it Alex and Ashby and you can more see how the partial silicones look and I'm going to change her so you will also see how she looks on this video so we'll be right back okay so we have her on the changing table now and i have the camera positioned in this awkward way and it's like in my way in a way i don't want to knock it over um that's the reason why a lot of times i don't actually um record the changing videos on the actual changing table um, and it's because I never can seem to like position the camera in a comfortable way for me to change them. I find it like where I can uh, position the camera better when I put the babies in the crib for some reason. But I figured, let me use this changing table sometimes since I have it, I need to use it, right? So anyway, as I was saying, she is a partial silicone baby. And this is her cloth body under there. As you can see, just like the vinyl weave ones, this is her belly plate. It's removable, it's gender neutral, so you can make this baby a boy or a girl. It's all silicone, it's soft, it's flexible. And basically, I just, um, put the diaper on her and it holds the belly plate in place. I'm going to change her into this little floral diaper here. I believe it's a size one and I think she's wearing a size one. I left this diaper on her longer than ever. I would leave a diaper on my baby. Even when I changed her the last time, I didn't want to take off the diaper because I love this print with the deers on it so i did not want to um take this one off of her it came home with the baby i have like another one of them it's like i want to save those like i wouldn't mind having a whole pack of that print that's how much i love it so i just put the belly plate in and then i just fasten her little diaper 
and for the most part the diaper holds the belly plate in place you don't really need to like put any ribbons or anything on it to hold it if the diaper is tight enough it does hold it in place and that's it and to me that belly plate just really adds to the realism in the partial silicone if you can't afford you know a full body silicone that's what i like about the partials although the prices have gone up on partial silicones way higher than they used to be um it's still more affordable than going after a full body if it's not really in your budget i would say try to look for a partial and if you don't want a blank partial, I still see people selling them already painted. If you want one that's already completed, even if it's already completed, painted and everything, it still comes out um, to be more affordable than getting a full body silicone. From what I've seen, this doll blank is about $1,000. A little less than a thousand for the blank kit and it's really nice like i said because it has the belly plate because not all you know par shoes come with the belly plate so with this one i really like that at least you still you're getting the par shoe but you're getting the belly plate with it you can leave it on her you can use it if you don't want to leave it on you could put it on her for pictures it's nice for that and if you want to take it off you just take it off so i'm going to be putting her in this romper i believe i showed this in a haul and it is carter's baby i ordered it offline carter's website and it is what size newborn size um for the most part this baby can fit newborn clothes um she can fit some zero to three months if it's not huge but i would say mostly i've been putting her pretty much in newborn size and this romper looks pretty full so i'm thinking it should fit her she probably is going to have room in it and it has snaps in the back so it's easy to take on and off it's blue and white stripes with these pretty pink flowers in the front on the bodice with that little blue knot, like a knot type of scallop around it. I don't know what you call these, but a lot of the baby clothes has it. I don't know what you call that. I just say they're knots or it's scalloped, <laughs> scallop trim. But anyway, so as I was saying, this baby, I painted her back in february i believe i finished her like right at the beginning of march um and she is the first silicone baby that i actually purchased blank and painted from start to finish for myself and i must say i do love how she came out i love how her skin tone looks and I actually was going to make her darker when I was, you know, my intentions when I started painting her. I wanted her to be like a medium brown. But as I was painting her, I got to this skin tone that she's at. And I just really, really love the skin tone she's at. So I decided to stop here where she is because as I was painting her, she began to really resemble my children so much when they were newborn. So I decided to leave her at the skin tone she's at. And I really do love this skin tone. Um, and before I got her, I was practicing silicone painting for about, I want to say for at least maybe... Two to three years ago, I started practicing. That's the back of it. It really fits her good. It's not even too big. I thought she was going to have room. 
it's pretty pretty um like the right size exactly for her but yeah i started off practicing silicone and that was because i was not really interested in painting silicone let me say that first i was practicing and when i say practicing i was actually went into it painting trying to correct or fix a um a doll that i already had which most of you know that have been watching me from my old channel to this channel um my gabriel which is my andrew by clear taylor he had the problem of paint coming off like the side of his ears on both ears and so i wanted to fix his ears and he's a full body silicone, just in case you don't know him. And he's dark skin, AA skin tone. He is in the video right before this one, if you want to know which baby I'm referring to. And so I wanted to fix his little ears. And the reason the paint rubbed off his ears, he's a completed Claire Taylor doll. And Claire's dolls, rarely will you find that the paint comes off of them. What happened with Gabriel, I suspected is that when we spray the baby's hair, be careful. I warn people now with your silicone dolls, if you use any type of baby detangler, um, downy mixed with water, any mohair conditioners for the baby's hair be careful of spraying the spray directly like this because when you do this which i'm not spraying it it will tend to mist and go on their forehead or possibly on their face and definitely it'll drip down onto their ears sometimes so I believe that's what happened to Gabriel's ears. That's what the problem was. I'm going to try this headband on her. It's small, um, but it's blue and white, a little flower. So I think that's what caused his little paint to rub off his ears. So that's how I started my journey into paint and silicone. It was trying to fix Gabriel's ears, and I did succeed in fixing his ears. Um... But because he's so dark-skinned, I actually fixed his ears. I want to say at least three times I probably painted Gabriel's ears. And to me, they still not dark enough. Now that I know how to really paint even more as I've been practicing over the years, even on a few other dolls I've had, have done a few touch-ups here and there on dolls I've had. Um, and now after I've painted this whole baby from start to finish, I know as you keep practicing, you learn, you, you get better and better, you get more confident. So now I think if I do his ears again, I want to even darken them more because the, his ears are trimmed where it's that really dark, dark, where it's darker than his actual skin tone. And I don't have them as dark, dark as I would have liked them. So I'm thinking of doing it again. I don't know. <laughs> I might make them a little bit darker. But yeah, so he's how I got into, you know, trying to paint silicone was good old my little Gabriel. He taught me a lot about painting silicone. And from him, like I said, I had a couple of other dolls. I had touched up little things on them as well. And I think it's good when you can learn because it does help you out if your dolls do need little things touched up on them. Or if you do want to buy a blank kit here and there, you can kind of paint it for yourself. It is very, it's a good thing to know how to do. So I'm putting Layla's little sandals on her and she fits them too. <laughs> Look at that. Look at her little toes in there. So she can fit these little sandals too. I sure wish I could find another pair of these little white sandals. They are so little. Like if your baby has a true little zero size newborn foot, these are the perfect little sandals. They fit so good. So anyway, she fits her little romper so cute. But yeah, so as I was saying, what it made me think about when I 
was painting this baby my main concern was that this was a partial silicone and before i started painting this baby my main thing was am i going to be able to figure out a way to cure all of these you know these parts because of course a partial silicone you got the head you got two arms you got two legs plus this one had the belly plate so you have all of these parts that you have to have a way of curing them once you paint them you got to have a way i feel like if i was painting a full body you do one side let it cure you flip it over you do the other side to me that seems easier i haven't done it yet let me say that i haven't painted a whole full body yet but to me it just seems like it would be a little less complicated <laughs> so before i got this baby i loved it but i wasn't gonna get it to paint because i was like can i handle trying to cure all these parts and then all of a sudden, it came to me one evening how I could possibly cure the parts. And boom, I went ahead when she released the set of, this set of kits and I got her. And I was so happy I got her. And now that I have her and I've painted her and I just love her, you know, I'm happy. I, I took the plunge and I got my courage <laughs> and I did it, you know. But then after I painted her which she still has a few sh uh, shine spots which one i'm looking at it right now on her wrist right here i'm just putting a little matte powder to powder her a little bit right there um and i only matted her once i never went back and like touched up any spots so she still has a few spots in there that might need matting but what i do i just um brush the matting powder on like I just did. This is the one I mostly use for regular um, maintenance powdering of the baby. This one, you can also use it to matte them when you're painting and done painting them and you're doing the matting process. And this one, who is it by? Jenny Lee on Facebook. And I, uh, her nursery is We Babies Nursery, I believe on facebook jenny lee this is where i buy this powder from and it's really fine and it doesn't make the baby look white when you powder them with this that's what i like about it it's really fine and it it stays on them for a long time and you don't need a lot of it but it is very expensive but it lasts a long time but anyway so as i was thinking after i painted her and i got it all done I began to definitely get requests, um, messages asking, am I going to do customs? Um, people have kits and they wondering, can I paint it? And I have talked about this before, but I had decided right away at this point, I didn't want to do any customs. Um, I don't feel like I'm ready for customs yet. I don't feel like, okay, with her, I painted her within three weeks and I was done. Maybe a little less than three weeks and I was done. And then I went back and rooted her hair within like maybe a week. I finished her hair, maybe less than a week. So it didn't take me super long, but what I had to do was really focus and concentrate and put aside a lot of time to consistently paint her and work on her so that I wouldn't take forever to finish her. That was my goal to not just finish her, but for her to look nice and, you know, where I would love her when I was done, but also not to take forever to be done. <laughs> Cause I tend to do that when I paint, um, even with my vinyl reborns, I will tend to sometimes just take forever to paint. Um, because I'll take breaks when I want, you know, whenever I want, if I don't feel like painting, I don't. So I prefer even with my vinyl reborns, when I'm painting them, I paint them when I want, whenever I finish them, I finish it. And if I want to sell it, then I sell it. That's basically how I do it. So I don't even call myself an artist at this point. People say I'm an artist. I don't call myself an artist. I just like collecting the dolls is a hobby. For me, I find that the painting is kind of the hobby too because I don't do it like as a, a job or anything. I don't do it um, consistently enough to say I'm an artist at this point. 
Um, and it's not something I found as I was saying when I finished her, I was thinking about what is silicone something I want to paint on a regular basis and paint to sell on a regular basis is and the same thing with my vinyl rebounds. Is it something I want to do and sell on a regular basis? And I found that for me, I don't think so. <laughs> Um, I find that I like painting when I want to paint and when I don't want to, I don't want to type of thing. Um, the Reborns, I started off painting them pretty much just like with the silicone dolls really was to do it for myself so I could save money by painting for myself. That was my main objective. My main goal was to learn how to paint good enough where I could paint for myself. And definitely with the Vinyl Reborns is a long process to get to the point where I felt like I liked my dolls enough or I'm, you know, doing well enough where I really like how they're coming out. I'm getting to that point. I like how they're coming out, but I still feel like even with my Vinyl Reborns, I still have to get neater. I want to get neater. I want to um, learn more different techniques and all of that with the fine details and making the baby look more realistic. Definitely with the rooting, I need to practice more. So even with the vinyl reborns, I'm, I still got a ways to go. <laughs> and I've been painting my vinyl reborns now for four years. I started, I believe it was in 2017. Um, and this is, like I said, this is my first full time, you know, uh, start to finish painting a silicone this year. So I found like I started like really thinking hard as people was asking me to do customs for them. I decided I didn't want to paint vinyl rewinds cause do customs because I, I feel I take too long to paint. And I feel like if I do customs, it's gonna put pressure on me to finish within a certain time frame because I wouldn't want people waiting forever for their doll. So I, I don't do customs with the vinyl rebounds. I basically, when I finish one and I feel I want to sell it, I just sell it. Sometimes I paint them. I have them in my own collection for a while. And if I all of a sudden decide I want to shed off some babies and downsize, then I'll, I'll just sell them, which I did recently in the past couple of months. I sold a lot of my babies and downsized. Um, now with the silicone, I had people ready, you know, for me to paint their dolls. A few people had the money and everything, but I didn't want to do it. Um, I found that I just didn't want to do customs. And I feel like I want to, like, paint another baby or two um, silicone for myself first to kind of just get a, even better at it and learn a, a little more like this baby i feel she came out nice for my first go at it for you know start to finish i love how she looks but it's things on her she's not perfect it's things on her that i want to learn how to do better um so i want to paint a little more for myself before i would even try even painting and selling i think i want to practice a little bit more but then i was like as I was painting her, like I was saying, I had to like put aside time to finish her in a timely manner. And I found even painting for myself when I wanted to finish within a certain amount of time, it put pressure on me, even painting for myself. I felt pressured and I don't like feeling pressured. That's one thing about me. So I was like, I don't know if I want to paint and even to like every now and then paint and sell. So it made me really think about it. And if you guys noticed, I finished her like the beginning of March and I haven't painted another silicone yet. And it is now going almost into August and I haven't um, because I, I, it wasn't hard for me to do. I did it. It came, she came out beautiful. But it's, I don't think it's something I could really like dedicate all of that time to on a consistent regular basis. I feel like it took me away from the hobby itself when I was putting in so much time painting. It definitely pulls you away from just the enjoyment of the hobby of collecting the dolls. And this is my hobby, my fun thing, you know, my, my my peaceful place and I found that when I paint and when I was painting her or even if I'm painting a vinyl reborn and I try to like set a time frame for myself to finish 
it puts so much like pressure and you have to set a time aside that time and be really dedicated to finishing that doll and you can't really get to enjoy like your dolls um it it pulls you away from it so that's why i don't know if i would want to actually say become an artist i don't think it's for me <laughs> because it really does take a lot of time dedication devotion into being an artist a silicone or reborn artist or some paint both it takes a lot of your time i feel like they do like really wonderful jobs and the dedication when they are creating these dolls for us because it really does take a lot of your time and if you want to collect the dolls and enjoy them too you will find you have less time to do that anyway i did for myself let me speak for myself because everybody's experience may be different um and then i have my kids and and my significant other and all of those things you have to have time for too so i was like i don't know if i want to do this full time but anyway i decided i can't just stop at one um i do want to still learn you know more about paint and silicone and get better at it so whenever i do want to buy a kit for myself a blank silicone kit i can complete it for myself rather than having to send it out to an artist to paint it for me so with that being said as i said i am expecting i'm um, silicone expecting and i had announced that a few weeks back on a video but i didn't really go into it so now i'm also um saying that it is going to be another blank silicone kit that i'm going to be painting for myself um so i'm like dropping little little hints on this baby that's coming piece by piece i'm dropping hints but i'm not sure when the baby will be coming i have to wait until whenever it's gonna be done or whatever so even though it's a blank you have to wait for the artist to pour it and all of that so i am expecting um it will be a full body baby this time and i like i said will be painting it for myself i don't know if i'm going to do this same skin tone again i love it or if i want to dabble a little bit and experiment and try a different skin tone maybe i will see but yeah so that's another little hint the next baby is going to be a full body silicone and i will be painting that one myself as well um eventually i know i don't like my collection too big so if i keep buying blank kits here and there and painting them eventually i'm going to probably sell some of them i know i wouldn't keep all of them um because i don't like my collection to be too too huge it, it gets overwhelming to me so definitely eventually i probably would paint one or however many here and there and sell it or i might have it in my collection for a while and then i decide to let it go and sell it but yeah that's where i am i'm not going to do any customs i do know that for sure but here and there i may paint one and sell it um eventually that that could happen but i like i said i can't see myself like doing like no full-time artist thing not for me no way but anyway, guys, that's my Mika Alexis. That's my little uh, discussion for today. My rambling on my thoughts of paint and silicone and where am I going with it. Um, that's it. That's where I'm at right now. But there she is looking adorable in her little outfit of the day. And so we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and stay safe. Bye.